Hey guys, so it's the middle of summer and a lot of people have been seeing really big wasps flying around. This year, a lot of people are assuming those are murder hornets. So let's talk a little bit about murder hornets and talk about what these wasps are that people are seeing. First of all, spoiler alert, there's no such thing as a murder hornet. So those big wasps we heard about last spring, these are called Asian giant hornets. Some journalist somewhere came up with the name murder hornets, but it's not widely used. Well, it wasn't widely used until now. The Asian giant hornet really isn't a murderous wasp like it was portrayed on the news. So Asian giant hornets are from Asia. They're kind of lowland forest dwelling, really big wasps, an inch and a half long. That's pretty cool. It's a cool looking wasp. Um, they were found in British Columbia and a few dead specimens were found in Washington state. Later this summer, just a few weeks ago, uh, some officials in Washington state actually did trap a, a, a worker of these murder hornets. So they are there in really low numbers and they're working on eradicating them. They're not widespread across the US or across North America. They probably will never be widespread across North America because they have some specific habitat requirements. They're lowland, moist forest dwelling wasps. They probably won't live here in Utah where we are a desert, for example. So what you're seeing is probably not a murder hornet, or as I like to call them, it's probably not an Asian giant hornet. But people are seeing some really big wasps out there. In July and in August, we see these cicada killer wasps. Cicada killers are huge. They're some of the biggest wasps in North America. They can be an inch and a half to two inches long. Super cool wasps, but they're not dangerous. They're not aggressive. Cicada killers are a solitary wasp that nests in the ground. And as their name suggests, they hunt cicadas. So how do you tell the difference between a cicada killer and a murder hornet or an Asian giant hornet? Well, if we take a look at these, the Asian giant hornet has a really big orange head. Look how beefy that head is, really powerful jaws and the muscles that go along with that jaws fit in that big orange head. Cicada killer wasps have much smaller heads. You can see the eyes fill most of the side of the head. They don't have those big cheeks full of muscles. Also, Asian giant hornet is basically brownish black with orange stripes. The cicada killer wasp has mostly yellow and some other patterns on there, but they look pretty different once you look. It's mostly the head that's gonna give it away. So the other day I was on a bike ride and I came across a nesting aggregation of cicada killer wasps. So let's talk a little bit about the biology of these wasps. So as I've said, cicada killers are ground nesting solitary wasps and they like to nest in well-drained soil, like these sandy soils on the trail I was on. So each female wasp will dig a nest. This is in the early morning and you can see them, there was a lot of digging activity. The nest's entrances are kind of diagnostic. You can kind of tell when it's a cicada killer nest because they make these big run runways. Instead of just having a hole in the ground that they'll enter and exit, they actually dig the dirt quite far away from the entrance, sometimes up to eight inches away and sometimes curved away from the entrance in these little pathways. So they dig these nests in the morning and then during the day they will go out and hunt cicadas. So cicada killer wasps are powerful flyers. They can actually carry cicadas that weigh twice as much as them back to their nest. And sometimes they'll fly a hundred yards carrying a cicada. Um, some studies show that they often use physics to their advantage. So they'll sometimes climb a tree or climb a shrub with that cicada and then kind of fly downhill from their perch till they get to their nests. So cicada killers can be pretty intimidating. A two inch wasp flying around can scare anybody. Uh, they're, they're loud, they, they buzz like you know a hummingbird almost, but they're pretty harmless. I've never let one sting me, but I've heard the sting is, is not very painful. So what do they use it for? Well, they sting cicadas to paralyze them. They then put that down in their nest and lay an egg on it. So their baby will eat that paralyzed cicada as it's underground. Some estimates suggest that these nests can be about five feet long, the tunnel, uh, usually about a foot to two feet beneath the surface of the ground. So they lay their egg on the paralyzed cicada. That larva then after a few weeks will pupate and stay underground until next summer when they will dig out of that nest and start the process over again. Isn't that cool?
So a couple weeks later, I came back trying to see if I could find some cicada killers with their prey, with the cicadas. And I noticed that some cows had started ranging on this land and they have trampled all over this trail and I don't see any cicada killer activity anymore. I was pretty bummed. So if you've watched to the end of this video, the moral of the story is if you see a really big wasp, it's not an Asian giant hornet, most likely. It's probably a cicada killer or other ground nesting wasps that are common across North America. So subscribe to this channel and share it with your friends so they can learn not to be afraid of wasps.